second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Chat, chat is on, and you're looking for Jacqueline? Yes. How can we help you? What, what did Jacqueline do to you? All right, guys. So I've been seeing Jacqueline now for a few weeks. Mm-hmm. But ever since uh, she spent the night at my place, she's been ducking my calls and my texts. Okay. So <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Not, nothing. Nothing sticks out. Uh, I mean, the worst thing that happened is my roommate came home early. Yeah. Because this girl dumped him again. Okay. But he went straight to his room to drink and cry like the bitch that he is. <laughs> like the bitch that he is? <laughs> that's yeah. A little, that's a little harsh. Well, no, no. Don't feel bad for this guy. They break up every week and get back together again. It's just what they do. Okay. So are they together again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, they're ridiculous. But but anyway, hopefully Jacqueline doesn't think I'm insensitive because when he went to his room to get faced by himself and cry like he always does, I didn't give two <laughs> shits. <laughs> okay. I mean, she ended up spending the night and didn't say anything, so I don't know. Oh, okay. So you're thinking maybe she thinks you're you're like insensitive because... You should have yeah, been there for I your just, buddy, and instead you were just like, ah, that bitch always cries. So let's I have sex. I can't be for him every, every time he comes home like that. It, it's too much. Yeah. And and so nothing else that you can think of? No. No, not, not that sticks out. Not that sticks out? Hmm. I mean... <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> could be so much. I mean, I don't know. It, it, Let's you know what? I, I, let's just call her. <laughs> yes, hi. Uh, hi, is this Jacqueline? This is. Oh, perfect. Uh, so, Jacqueline, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa, and we're calling you from Hot ninety six nine, the radio station. So, uh-huh. can I explain really quickly? It sounds like you're in a rush. I can explain really quickly. It's a good reason why we're calling you. Okay, yeah, I am in a rush, so you can just keep it quick. Okay, so real quick. So we do this thing. Like I said, we work at a radio station, and people call us up asking other people for dates. So somebody who yeah. know, who knows you gave us your number, and he would uh, love to go on a date with you. I'll tell you his name. If you don't want to do a date, say no, no thank you, and that's it. But if you do want to do a date, we'll let you select the restaurant, the day, the time, everything, and we'll pay for it. Do I have to say yes before you give me the guy's name? No, 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 no. I'll give you the guy's name, and then you, you from there, you say yes, no, whatever. All right? All right, here we go. So his name is Chad. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't say that. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, absolutely not. It's not happening. It's not happening. Can, can Can you tell us why? Like, do you think it was because he was being insensitive with his roommate? Uh, absolutely not. His house was probably the most disgusting house I have ever been in in my entire life. Okay, you're just going to get right to it. <laughs> like it was a mess, but he said you stayed over. Like what? Yeah, I stayed over and I woke up the next morning and there was shit everywhere. There like was sh- literal shit. I was just about um, to ask if you mean literal. I guess Wait, like there was yeah. actual like somebody shit all over his apartment? <laughs> like somebody took a shit all over the apartment. It smelled terrible. <laughs> it, I, I, I have never seen anything like it. Like all over the apartment, not just like a pile of shit in one like spot. Correct. <laughs> all over the apartment. Um, like I, I, I didn't even stay to get an explanation because how do you explain that? Does he have a dog? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, let's get Ch- Chad's on the phone, Jacqueline. Maybe he could explain it. Hey, Chad. Yeah. Do you think you or your roommate sh- all over your apartment? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I think I know what's what's happening here. I can explain. Please do. <laughs> You're gonna. I feel like it's scary that he's just like, oh yeah, the sh- all over the apartment. I got right. this. So how can you explain sh- it all over your apartment? Yeah. So it's it's my roommate's dog. He's old. Oh <laughs> no. And he sh- all over the apartment. <laughs> no, no, no. He's a good dog. But what huh. happens is the dog usually sh- on my roommate when he's sleeping. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? On you. I know, I know. But it, because they sleep together in the same bed, and like I said, my roommate comes home a lot, just pass out drunk and. The, doesn't take out the dog, and 
The dog just shits and pisses on him while he's asleep. And then he just walks around the house? Well, no, not normally. Normally he, like, cleans himself up and it's fine. But I guess that night Aww. he got up in the middle of the night because he ran out of whatever bitch drink he was drinking and <laughs> oh went to the God. kitchen, went watched some TV and didn't was so drunk, didn't realize he was covered in shit and it just got everywhere. Okay. He, but I mean, he cleans it up. He's a meat freak. He cleans it up? <laughs> yeah, like the place is fine now. You couldn't even tell. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. <laughs> The fact that your your roommate's done this more than once, right. having his dog oh. on him, it spreads it all over the apartment. Oh my God. No, this this literally happens like three times a month, and he normally cleans it up before I even realize it happens. He's up early, I sleep in. I don't know. <laughs> How can you not smell it? Mm. That's a good point. Mm. I mean, again, it's an older dog, so the dog himself not his fault being older does smell a bit so it always kind of has that little bit of a linger but you know so you're immune to it is what you're saying it's just always there (laughs) so it's immune yeah yeah i mean it happens so disgusting Uh, you know what honestly i gotta tell you what dog it is the best case scenario of a disgusting situation like the roommate always cleans up the dog yeah, well, it happens. See, apparently, it happens whenever he gets dumped and gets uh, trashed. I figure. Out, I think you guys could figure out a way to make this work around. I don't know. She sounds kind of disgusted. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out for me. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Are you sure? Look, I, I told yeah, you he cleans I, it up. Yeah, it, it's just I don't think we're compatible. I'm just. I'm a little bit more uh, conscious of hygiene, so... Mm. Okay. She's more I, I conscious just... of shit smell. <laughs> okay. Look, come on. The the dog's old. He's got, like, two months left max. Okay. Oh, oh. Jesus. Like, no, no, it's fine. I mean, he's going to die. I mean... If if you say no now, what if I call you at the end of the summer? No! The dog's gone? Oh, oh, my uh, God. Absolutely not. You're a fucking jerk. That's what? terrible. No. <laughs> You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> I think I do. A second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, and 810. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com.